What's up diaper butt? Today I want to talk about adult diaper rash. First things first, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a guy who has experience wearing diapers and some experience in how to avoid and treat diaper rashes when you get them. So if you are having any kind of serious issues that you need personal advice on, I would recommend reaching out to a dermatologist or your personal doctor. Let's start by discussing what a diaper rash actually feels like. So when a diaper rash first starts to come on, you may feel a burning or a slight burning or tingling sensation on the skin, like almost as if it's heating up a little bit. As a diaper rash gets worse, it will start to get itchy. You'll want to pull the wet diaper away from your skin. Anytime the wet diaper is pulled away from your skin, you just feel that relief. And that's when you know you probably have a rash and you need to start taking some steps to treat it. Needless to say, a diaper rash is very uncomfortable. Once you get one, due to the nature of incontinence and how most people's bodies function with incontinence, it's hard to get rid of. So the best thing to do is to try to avoid getting a rash to begin with. Before we jump into some ways you can avoid getting a rash, let's talk about the causes of rashes. One of the most common causes to adult diaper rash that most people don't realize is getting the right fit of product. So if you order a product that's too small and ends up fitting too tightly, not allowing enough air to circulate on the skin, thus leading to diaper rash. Alternatively, if you get a product that's too large, it can hang too loose against the skin, causing some friction and some heat rashes. So that's a problem with getting products that are too large as well. They'll end up sagging down when they get too, uh, too wet and heavy, and it ultimately will lead to diaper rash. Another common cause most people aren't aware of is the fact that most adult diapers these days come with neutralizing chemicals in the product to neutralize the odor of urine. Some people have allergic reactions to those chemicals, so if you are breaking out with rashes from using a specific product, the next best thing to do is to try a different product. And then the last thing that's probably one of the most common causes to causing rashes is not changing when needed and not cleaning up thoroughly enough. So it probably goes without saying, uh, you know, if you have urine on your skin, that's gonna break down the skin. There's certain acids in the urine that will cause diaper rash. And if you're not wiping that off in between diaper changes, that will potentially lead to you breaking out in rashes. Now that we know some of the causes of diaper rash, we're better equipped to start avoiding diaper rash altogether. That's my policy. I try to operate by avoiding diaper rash altogether, because as I said, once you get it, it's pretty difficult to get rid of. It's really kind of a pain in the butt, and that's sort of a subject for a different video. So if you're new to wearing adult diapers and you need some guidance, I am working on building up a playlist of adult diaper reviews, which I will link to at the end of this video. So definitely stick around for that. When it comes to finding the right product for you to avoid getting rashes, not only does fitting and size matter, but level of absorbency matters as well. Personally, I would recommend if you have anywhere from intermediate to heavy forms of incontinence to go with a tape up kind of diaper because they are far more absorbent and generally most of those diapers will last you anywhere from six to eight hours at a bare minimum. So that will pull the fluid away from your skin, keep your skin dry and keeping you well protected for up to eight hours. Once you find the right diaper for you, if you're still getting rashes at that point, the next best thing to do is to make sure you're taking extra measures to protect your skin. So there's various different ointments and oils you can apply to your skin in order to repel water away from your skin, thus adding an extra layer of protection to prevent diaper rash from occurring. When it comes to using talcum powder, I find it helps to feel clean and dry. I am a little uncertain on how much it actually helps prevent rashes, but it does help you feel comfortable throughout the day. Finally, the best thing you can do to avoid diaper rashes is to change as needed. So basically a good rule of thumb is when you start to feel uncomfortable, when you start to be aware of the sensation of the diaper, it's probably a good time to change. You definitely wanna change before you start to leak. And if you do start to feel a rash form, change more frequently than you normally do. If you're encountering a lot of diaper rash, you may be new to wearing adult diapers and may need some extra help with figuring it all out. So if you do need that extra help, check out this playlist right here. Or you can check out this video that YouTube says is perfect just for you. Until next time, stay dry.